This is Dr. Ari Dugmajian with Prime Coral. Coral bleaching. Coral bleaching has causes, some are related to temperature and some are related to shading, but in most cases in our aquariums when we have stable parameters and the coral starts bleaching, that's due to the parasites. And these are the RTN, STN parasites we've been talking about. It's an infection of your coral. And the zooxanthella are leaving the coral tissue. That's why the coral tissue turns white as the coral loses the zooxanthella. Now what's causing the zooxanthella to leave? They're leaving because of an infection by a parasite. And that parasite is usually going to be Philaster lucinda or Philaster uh, guamance, or it could be Euploides or Dystera or Cryptocarion. The point is it's a parasite that's there on the coral to eat the zooxanthella and coral tissue. So the zooxanthella know this somehow, and I don't know how yet, but we're figuring it out. And they're leaving the coral to get away from being eaten by a predator. So the zooxanthella normally live within the coral tissue and provide energy for the coral by converting sunlight or light energy into a chemical energy called sugar and the coral uses that sugar to grow. So they have a symbiotic relationship. The coral provides the zooxanthella with protection and a stable place to live. And the zooxanthella provide the coral with food. Now, this is a chalice that started bleaching uh, a couple of days ago. And I kind of been keeping an eye on it. Wasn't sure it was really bleaching, but today I'm positively convinced that it is. If you look carefully at the tissue, you'll see a lot of these areas that are white and they're getting worse. So right through here. Very little zooxanthella is gonna be left in that area. Most of the zooxanthella has left. If we look at this chalice and this bleached area under the microscope, we're gonna see that probably 90% of the zooxanthella have left. So I believe this is due to the parasite being on the coral. And we're gonna go ahead and dip the coral in the prime coral stop RTN dip. And we'll have a look at it a little bit later on in a couple of days.